Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another broadcast of the weekly with me, Neff. Today, this article once again comes from Variety. But first, before I read you guys this article, please subscribe to the channel. We are trying to get to our 50th subscriber. It would really help us out a lot, and we always appreciate it. Let me continue with this article, guys. Gladiator 2, new trailer, Paul Mescal bleeds, sweats and battles, Pedro Pascal and Ridley Scott's sequel. Let's read a little more. A bloody, sweaty Paul Mescal goes to war to save Rome in the new trailer for Ridley Scott's Gladiator 2. The sequel stars Mescal as Lucius, the son of Lucia, and nephew of Commodus, the original film's antagonist, played by Joaquin Phoenix, set years after 2000's Gladiator. The sequel sees Lucius living as a young adult in the northern African region of Numidia, where his mother sent him as a child. Events bring Lucius back to Rome as a gladiator, making new enemies and reuniting with his mother. The new trailer reveals that Lucius is the son of Maximus Decimus Meridius, the protagonist of the first gladiator film played by Russell Crowe. Lucia tells Lucius the truth about his paternity as he prepares for battle saying take your father's strength. His name was Maximus and I see him in you. In an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Mescal said he was shocked when he learned about his character's parentage. I was like, holy S, he said, adding that it's an affronting thing to see it written on the page and to have that responsibility fall on your shoulders is interesting. The Gladiator 2 supporting cast features Pedro Pascal as Marcus Acasius, a Roman general who trained under the command of Maximus, Denzel Washington as Micronus, a wealthy power broker in Rome who keeps a stable of gladiators for sport, and Joseph Quinn and Fred Hetchinger as the twin emperor emperors of Rome. Scott recently said that the film will feature the biggest action sequence that the director has ever produced, saying it was bigger than anything seen in The Phoenix starring Napoleon. The acclaimed director has already delivered some of cinema's most jaw-dropping set pieces helming films like 1979's Alien, super great film, 1982's Blade Runner, also a good film, Kingdom of Home, and 2015's The Martian. Scott became a fan of Mescal's after watching the actor's breakthrough performance in Normal People. The two men only spoke for about an hour and a half when Scott decided that Mescal was his gladiator to lead. The actor bulked up so much for the film that Pascal even said it was quite challenging having to face off against him in the arena. Pascal even gave Mescal a nickname on set Brick Wall Paul. He got so strong I would rather be thrown from a building than have to fight him again, Pascal said. To go up against somebody that fit and that talented, that much younger, is brutal, man. So that basically sums up the rest of that article. As you guys know, we have talked about Gladiator 2. I actually talked talked about uh, potential Gladiator 3 being in production. I believe a couple days ago, Ridley Scott had made a statement about that, but this film is going to be hitting theaters on November 22nd, 2024. That is going to be Thanksgiving Day weekend. I am going to be in attendance watching this film. I did watch the second trailer. The second trailer looks awesome. I think the first trailer, unlike a lot of people, a lot of people did not like that first trailer. I feel like the first trailer actually sets this trailer up a lot more. The only thing I have to say that is negative about this trailer is the fact that they have told me a lot about this film already. I feel like I know about most of the plot in this film. Now, most of the nuances haven't been uncovered, but there's a lot of the a lot of the plot has been spoiled, I must say. You know, when you're watching Gladiator, you kind of know what you're walking into. Gladiator has that same style that we've seen over the years multiple times in these type of films and shows that go back into the ancient Roman times, specifically when you're talking about the Gladiators and the Colosseum and the events within that. So, not really too much of a depthy story, but this story does seem interesting enough to keep me intrigued Ridley Scott at the helm directing can't go wrong with that visually the trailer looks absolutely amazing I guess we're gonna have to see how this movie is written and how it holds up I'm not worried about the visuals whatsoever but like I said I will be watching this film and I will have a review for you guys and we will probably be talking about it on the popcorn square for sure so yeah I'm going to link the trailer down in the description for you guys if you have not seen it yet please check that out gladiator 2 theaters November 22nd 2024 I think it is going to be an awesome film budget's a little bloated don't think it's going to make a lot of money especially because it is coming out on a weekend where people are going to be with their families and it is a r-rated film so it is not for the kids it's for the adults only but we will have to see how this film fares at the box office from a quality standpoint i think it will be solid with that being said guys like comment down below what you think about this article comment down below what you think about gladiator 2 and comment down below what you think about this trailer if you do decide to watch it like i said link will be in the description subscribe subscribe subscribe, share with a friend, and as always, be safe. It's Neff signing off.